Lesson 17. Objective. Solve additive compare word problems modeled with tape diagrams. Vocabulary of the day. Everyone say sum, difference, tape diagram, variable, rounding. Problem number one. Solve a single step word problem using how much more. So first, let's do C cub for the problem. Sean's school raised $32,587. Leslie's school raised $18,749. How much more money did Sean's school raise? So let's go through and circle our important numbers. And then let's underline our question and box in how much, because that's what we need to do. So now let's set up our tape diagram. We can see that Sean has raised $32,587. We can see that Leslie has earned $18,749. And the question says, how much more money did Sean's school raise? So then we know that this variable right here of M for money would be the difference between this number and this number. So let's go ahead and set up our problem vertically. Remember, you must always line up your places. Let's say them together. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. So all of your top numbers need to be larger than your bottom numbers in order to subtract. So first we look at our ones place, 7 minus 9. We're unable to do that, so we have to go next door and we have to take 110 and unbundle it, and that will turn that into 10 ones. So now instead of 7 ones, we have 17 ones. So we're good in our ones place, we're good in our tens place, we go to our hundreds place. We cannot subtract it because this number is smaller than this number, so we have to take one from our thousands place and unbundle it which will leave us with one thousand and we unbundle one thousand and turn it into ten one hundred so now we have fifteen one hundreds instead of five so we're getting our hundreds column but this one is smaller than this eight so we have to go to our ten thousands place and take one ten thousand and unbundle that so now we have two ten thousands and we bundle one ten unbundle one ten thousand and turn it into 10 one thousands, which will now give us 11 one thousands. So now we look everywhere, and all these numbers are greater than all these numbers, so we're able to subtract. So please yell out the difference as we go. 17 minus 9 will give me a difference of 8. Next, we move to our tens column. 7 minus 4 will give me a difference of 3. Next, we move to our hundreds place. 15 minus 7 will give me a difference of 8. Then we move to our thousands place. 11 minus 8 will give me a difference of 3. And then finally, we move to our ten thousands place. Two minus one will give me a difference of one. So now we can see that our variable m is equal to 13,838. So if I were to write this in a complete sentence, I would say, Sean's school raised $13,838 more than Leslie School. Problem 2. Solve a single step word problem using how many fewer? So let's go ahead and do C cub while we solve our problem. At a parade, 97,853 people sat in bleachers. 388,547 people stood along the street. How many fewer people were in, were in the bleachers? than standing along the street. So let's go ahead and set up our tape diagram first. We know that there were 97,853 people in the bleachers. 
and then we know that these people stood along the road and that was 388,547. And remember, a variable is simply an unknown quantity, so you can use a letter or a symbol. In this case, we're using a question mark. So this is what we need to find. So now we're going to go ahead and set up our problem vertically. And Alright, so let's make sure that all of our top numbers are larger than our bottom numbers. So we look in the ones place, and this is good to go. We go to our tens place. We are unable to subtract 4 minus 5, so we need to go to the hundreds place. Take 1 from the hundreds place, which will change that to a 4. Unbundle 1, 100, and that will change to 10 tens. So instead of 4 tens, we now have 14 tens. And then we look in our hundreds place, and we are unable to subtract 8 from 4. So we need to go to our thousands place and take 1,000, which will change that to a 7. And we unbundle 1, 1,000 and bring it over here to the hundreds place. So now instead of 4 hundreds, we now have 14 hundreds. All right, so we're good in our ones, we're good in our tens, we're good in our hundreds, we're good in our thousands. and But then in our ten thousands, 8 minus 9, we're unable to do that, so we need to unbundle one ten thousand and change it into ten one thousands which will leave us with eighteen one thousands so now all of our top numbers are larger than our bottom numbers so let's go ahead and subtract please say the difference after I ask the question seven minus three will give me a difference of four Next, move to our tens place. 14 minus 5 will give me a difference of 9. Next, we move to our hundreds place. 14 minus 8 will give me a difference of 6. Next, we move to our thousands place. And 7 minus 7 will give me a difference of 0. Next, we move to our ten thousandths place. 18 minus 9 will give me a difference of 9. And then finally, 2 minus nothing in our ten thousandths place will give me a difference of 2. So I know my final difference is 290,694. So if I were to put this in a complete sentence, and restate my question, I would say there were 290,694 fewer people in the bleachers than standing along the street. Thanks for watching today.